hey guys welcome back to another weekly vlog this week we're going to be doing a bit of grocery shopping self-care uh, i'll also do a haul i also managed to arrange my dressing table finally i removed everything decluttered it washed it and put all the new products that i got um i also got new beddings i'll share with you guys that uh, we also did some a bit of self-care with the new products love them um and also finally i managed to organize my fridge and also i'll be sharing with you guys my match reads so i'm starting with the dressing table as you can see it was such a huge mess i still piled i had still paid up all the pharmacy uh, products on the seat here some were even on my bed not on top of the chest of drawers so i needed to get this space organized it was just making me so um it was just stressing me out and making me so disorganized <laughs> especially when it comes to getting ready in the morning so i was glad to finally get the time to deal with this whole mess so i started by clearing out the table um completely even the drawers i cleared them out um wiped it down then i decluttered the products so i only kept the products that i want to use and um products that i've not used in a while i gave my sister she was actually around so i gave her uh, most of the maybelline products because we are almost the same skin tone uh, and then for my other sister i gave her like lipsticks and uh, the fixer sprays and stuff so i actually decluttered completely because i wasn't left with anything they left with all the products i was really glad about that um so i managed to arrange all the pharmacy products um i also tried them out i'll do like a self-care video you'll see later on i tried some of the products so i'll just be trying them day by day because there are so many to try to try them all at once so i tried a few of them the few i've tried i love 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 them so much <laughs> so yeah um i'll just show you guys how i ended up organizing the drawers i kept going back and forth with the drawers uh, but finally i was able to manage uh, organizing it unfortunately my camera ran out of memory just as i was about to finish organizing the top part but i'll show you guys how i managed to organize it in the end so before i even tackled um this dressing table i had already removed all the beddings on my bed to wash i got new beddings i'm going to show you guys that tomorrow uh when i go to work i'll show you guys i finally got the burnt orange bed sheets that i've been looking for um so my room is just transforming slowly by slowly so those ones were in the washer getting washed um and then i think i did a reel uh when i was doing that so in case you're interested you can check out the reel on my instagram um i did a whole like bedroom reset so this is the only part i couldn't do it in the reel because <laughs> it entailed a lot of um organization so i decided to do it here i also removed all the products from their boxes because the boxes were holding so much space so i removed everything from their boxes and just kept um the products themselves again i've been nothing but a girl who really should be nothing less don't mess up and don't you tell us so how you actually feel if you do then they'll cut you right at the heel and it hurts no one can save you that's all on your mind to change to and baby you can really try if you climb your way Close to the sun. Cause 
So I managed to arrange everything. Um, the new products are fitted very well. I have my lotions there, um, my face products here. These are foot products, feet products, nails products. <laughs> I just have a whole lot of things. So um, my jewelry perfumes are all here this one um, i'm planning to give my sister um i think this is her shade she would confirm it for me so that's why it's here. actually let me just move it uh so i have my perfumes and deals there my watches uh makeup brushes i shifted them to this and then here i have mascaras and eye pencils our eyebrow pencils are all in here all in there then um this is how i arranged the drawer so let me just face it like this so this is how i arranged the drawer um I, this containers fitted perfectly here um the smaller ones for 300 but i ended up not using the longer ones so here i have uh more of like the the okay i just divided them up i'm going to probably rearrange this at some point um actually i'm seeing like this would go really well in here yeah and this one now comes in here where the foundation is yeah so this is much better the fixer spray concealers then here i have the lip plumbers lip plum lip balms lip conditioner this is the eyebrow gel then here i have the matte lipsticks lip glosses lip liners lip balms they're all here so this one was perfectly arranged this one was successful i thought it wouldn't come out the way i wanted but it did so i'm really happy about this one then uh for the second draw this is how i arranged it i have my eyebrow tweezers there all my perfume samples are here my uncovered travel pack products are here um lip mask vaseline this is a makeup removal wipes these are shades and yeah um so this is how i've arranged this draw so that is done at least now i feel more organized <laughs> when this space is done I even arrange the bags down below this bag usually has my my socks and stuff here i got a new i got a new i stepped on this bag in the morning so that's why it's it's on the card let me just fix this yeah so i got a new um linen spray so this is the amber noir nor nor yeah amber nor uh it's from the gift van but you can get them from treasured scent i hear the scent is really lovely so i'm just waiting to use that one um i've put all my my beddings in the washer to wash i really wanted to wash the duvet and the curtains i think i'm just going to do that in like my next video um once it's like more brighter outside it's really dark outside right now it looks like it wants to rain so that's why i'm not doing that so i'm just waiting for all the beddings to dry i've added the dry option so that immediately they are um get from the machine i'll just put them back in the bed and i still have laundry to do so yeah i'll deal with that later on so yeah the rest of the other things the rest of the other things i came and put them here 
I'm sorry, we usually wash my son in our bathroom sometimes. So I came and put the rest of the tonic spray here, the Dr. C Tuna cleanser here, and gel cleanser. So these ones, um, I usually put my cleansers and toners in the bathroom. And then this one is a bubble bath. I really want to try it out. So I've just put it here. And then the, <coughs> what is it called? The body scrub. I put it in the shower area. So I'm getting ready to go to work. But I wanted to show you guys the new beddings. Love this color. Honestly, I love, love this color. I, I'm thinking even next of getting like an emerald green. I think it will also look really nice in this room. So as you can see, I'm also making the bed a bit different. Uh, my sister taught me how to do this, <laughs> this new uh, arrangement on the bed. So yeah, I think it looks really, really uh, cute. I'm going to link the page where I got this duvet cover from in the description box in case you're interested. Um, yeah, and it turned out really well with the all smart lady homes um, throw pillow covers and uh, throw pillows that I got it turned out really cute um, the thing I may change is a small rectangular pillow and maybe get a blue one one that will probably match like the new curtains that I'm planning to get okay I'll talk about that later on so yeah I just um, I was getting ready to go to work um, so I'm just putting on my finishing touches perfume and jewelry and I'm out This is the lip gloss that I'm wearing. It's from C. Oh gosh, I've removed the. <laughs> I've removed the sticker. It's one of the pharmacy lip gloss that I got um, in this pink nudish shade. It's the one that I'm currently wearing. So let me head to work before I get it. Hey, yous. So I just left to work, um, I'm stopping by Ngara to pick some fruits before I head home. I've uh, not had lights for the last, since Tuesday, today is Thursday. They came like in the afternoon, so I'm so sure in my fridge there are things that have, uh, forgetting that bug, the things that have spoiled, so I need to... Um, What's the word? I need to go and take stock. Sorry. <laughs> I need to go and take stock of what has uh, spoiled and restock. Uh, in the meantime, I need fruits for my son. My son cannot survive without food. So I'm here at Ngara to put them. He usually just packs them for me. Then I just come and pick them as I go. It's so much easier. No, you don't know who's causing traffic. They need to put like a parking lot for for this place. I'm 
Nazuia, oui. So today is Saturday and I want to go do a few errands. I need to go grocery shopping. I need to um, just do a few errands into rivers. So I thought before I tell myself with the day ahead, I should just start with some self-care. So I'm in the bathroom brushing my teeth. Um, then I enter the shower. I think the shower part is just uh, explainable. I don't need to do a voiceover for you guys uh you you by now you know the routine but i used different products this time i tried out the pharmacy uh bubble bath that you are seeing um there it's really nice but it has a really it has a mild scent uh you know me i'm over the board with scent um so first i started by washing my face with a dove beauty bar soap then i washed uh i cleansed my face with the uncover cleanser and then after that i just um used my exfoliating cloth and the bubble bath and washed my body then i used the brown sugar and butter body scrub you're going to see it in a few honestly that scrub is really nice it's mild the scrubbing part but the butter plus the sugar part is really awesome it feels like you're showering with sheer butter literally it's like you're showering with sheer butter it really moisturized my skin really really well uh, i'm not into scrubs these days that um, dry out your skin so this one this one is a plus for me honestly really loved it um, i also got it from pharmacy again if you missed that video you can check out my last video for more details on all these products and yeah i think the next thing i did was just to shave and yeah that was it for the shower part So shower part done, it's time to moisturize my face and body. I'm starting with the Uncover Moisturizer. I usually put this on before putting the sunscreen. Uh, if I'm in a hurry, I'll pick out my fan to just make it dry uh, faster than so that I can put the sunscreen on top. Um, it was such a hot day. I really needed more sunscreen. <laughs> really needed a lot of sunscreen. Anyway, um, since it was also a hot day, I decided to try out the almond the almond oil that I got also from pharmacy. Love this one. It's such a you you're used to oils being watery. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but this one was so heavy in such a nice way, and then it had such a beautiful um powderish lovely scent to it actually really love that oil really love it and it also helped me out because i didn't sweat that much <laughs> and then um yes i used uh, one of the lip balms that i got from them um i can't remember the name of this one at the top of my head uh and also tried out the fit products actually the foot cream that you're going to see me applying in a few you're supposed to wear it at night for better effect and then you wear socks on but i just wanted to try it out and see how it is the foot spray worked wonders you're supposed to spray it on your foot or feet uh, and also spray it on the shoes you are supposed to wear it worked wonder that is such an awesome product to add to my self-care routine the cream was also really really nice it's supposed to make uh, to keep the heels of your feet soft um, and not to what is it called they usually break or something yeah so these are the new products that I tried these are the only products that I tried love them wanted to try out the cuticle uh, oil but i couldn't open it um i'll show you guys in a few <laughs> so this one has refused to open i'll have to wait for my hubby to wake up so that he can open it for me 
I'll use that in the evening while I also try out the night um, products. So yeah, I think that's it. So let me just dress up and then I'll come back in. So I'm just wearing this um, blue dress. Something is irritating me. So I'm just wearing this blue dress um, that I got from Waikiki years ago. <laughs> Um, it's really comfortable and it's really free. So I'm just adding this um, pharmacy lip gloss on top. I removed the the paper that <laughs> says the number. Uh, but I think I showed you guys. If you missed the haul for the pharmacy products, uh, just check my previous video for last Sunday. Uh, it's very detailed. You'll get all the details you need on the pharmacy products so I'm going to carry that we just add on some deal to do a necklace Honestly, this is the only necklace I have that has not faded. Um, still looks really good. I got it from Doreen Fashions. Um, I think I need to actually order for more, like uh, like five pieces, because I think I've overworn this necklace so much. So I'm not going to do anything else. Um, so let me just pack a car slim back. And I'm good to go. Oh, I got this. Um, wait. So I got this um, new linen spray. It's the Amber Noir um, from Treasured Scent. The other A Thousand Wishes one, I I gave it out. But I think I'm just going to buy the A Thousand Wishes one. Because it's not giving the really, really sweet scent that I wanted. But it's still very lovely. Um, so I'm just going to keep looking for a really sweet scent of a uh, linen spray. So this one are the gift buns uh, one. But you can get them from Treasured Scent. So I just want to spray my bed first. Then clean my linen. I'm just going to put a bit on the curtains also. It really gives the room such a beautiful, lovely scent. I also got a new carpet from Sage Carpet Cuttings and Carpets. Um, but now I think I'm just going to wait. I got a white carpet. I actually haven't even um, like Pima did. I'm hoping it will fit the way I want it to fit. Uh, but anyway, if it doesn't, we'll just exchange it. So I got a white carpet. I just I'm I'm so jazzed about that. So I got a white carpet. So I'm just waiting for her to get me new cut curtains that match the. You see the blue there on the picture it actually gave me the idea to um like the theme for the room burnt orange and that blue so i'm just waiting for like blackout curtains for that shade and then i will do um a mini room decor again as i just continue transforming the room to what i want so yeah that's it so let me go um and then i'll come and do a grocery haul for you guys so I didn't, um, I haven't had breakfast, <laughs> we were out yesterday and let's just say I'm not in the mood of eating anything but I've carried, I've carried an Alpen uh, fruit and nut chocolate bar and some cold water so I think we should be okay till I'm done uh, shopping so that's it guys at Carrefour.
is so hey um so i'm just going to do a quick haul um first i got flowers i missed having flowers in the house so i'm going to put this one in a vase later on but before i start the haul i have this package from kakuzi So I got this package from Kakuzi. I just want to open it with you guys. And it's also still here. I think it's been here for like a week or so. Um I just need to open it now as I arrange all the grocery stuff I put them pamoja because I'm seeing it's um it's food stuff so let me just let me first take a picture so this is how it looks and let me just come here with the camera this is how the package looks like so the first thing i'm seeing is macadamia oil oh gosh so what do i uh, cook this with you guys let me know uh what macadamia oil is used for <laughs> For the life of me, I have no idea, so you let me know about that one. And then, oh, let me pick up lunch I had ordered from Galito's lunch. Um, that was what was just delivered. This is a cup here, just plain white with um, Kakuzi logo. Then, now they have macadamia cereal mix honey coated oh, it's so interesting especially for my breakfast i need to build like my breakfast breakfast bar so there's that and then there is macadamia cereal mix this one now doesn't have this is dry roasted it doesn't have any like um honey coats and then there is macadamia kennel hole and splits honey coated i'm just going to discover these things as we go and then there is um, dry roasted macadamia kennel holes and splits and salted. That one. And then the last one is uh, macadamia kennel holes and splits salted. So there's salted and salted and this honey coated. Yeah, salted and salted and honey coated. And then they got me honey also. So this is 100% pure honey and i think it was leaking at some point so thank you so much kakuzi for this package and now i have a free basket <laughs> we now start the haul oh it came with a card uh jumbo from makimonde jumbo from kakuzi at kakuzi we start sustainably nurture some of mother nature's deli delectable treats from crunchy macadamia to the tasted avocado natural honey and grass-fed beef uh we celebrate our love for nature and its blessings with you this Valentine's Day. Enjoy our nutritious and 100% Kenyan grown assorted treats on this day of love and beyond. I told you this package has stayed. <laughs> Actually, they took long to deliver because you see it's supposed to be have been like a Valentine's package. Yeah. So. All really quickly I just start with the things already on the table we have cat food we have milk that is I think milk for like one and a half weeks or two my son drinks a lot of milk then we have rice here um, this one has serviettes let me just bring this camera near much better uh, serviettes I got some cherry tomatoes uh, fresh vanilla yogurt for my son he doesn't like um what are these called these other flavors he just likes uh, the fresher one and then i got mala for my nanny she loves mala uh, a lot then there is olive oil Let me just remove the malas 
I knew I had forgotten something because I got the Dorito salsa dip, but I didn't buy the Doritos themselves. <laughs> I knew I had forgotten something. Anyway, I'll just use an order via the app. I got Ribina, tomato sauce, uh, coconut milk, two of them, and tea masala. Next bag, crackles. Uh, Java granola, love this. Breakfast, um, Reiko kids. Cocos, all colors. Yeah. And then this is lettuce. Third bag has um, eggs. I got this small this uh, medium um, pack because no one is eating eggs in this house i think i'm the only person who makes eggs in the morning so even the last batch i'm seeing there's still like five eggs remaining and i don't think they even are uh, edible so i got the small one so i'll just be buying small small uh, packs then i got bacon i don't know why i've been having the urge to eat bacon of late uh, spicy beef sausages and then beef brown this is actually my nanny who requested for this she really loves this beef browns and then I got some some chicken thighs I got two two packs and minced meat two packs so I didn't get like whole chicken because there's a really huge queue, uh, not a huge queue, like a long line of um, people who want uh, to get chicken. So I didn't get chicken. Oh, so this one has the third bag has my Maryland cookies. Shifted the camera. This one has my Maryland cookies. I get one of each flavor. And then um Cerelac for my baby. He usually takes this like once a week or sometimes we even skip. He takes like twice a month or something. He doesn't take Cerelac that often. I think maybe um the days when maybe um they've woken up the same time with the nanny and they need to go to work that's when he she'll he'll give him she'll give him a uh, serial because now he's woken up hungry it, there's no time to like make any uji or oats or something but he doesn't like oats these days actually then i got this pack of um cherries blueberries and strawberries um sometimes kafo they usually bring this then they disappear then they come back again i usually find them better uh than picking one one so i got two packs and then i got some pineapple um i saw they had sliced and put up so i just got a few pineapples and then i got some juice for guests so i got some pineapple some red grape and white grape Going to put those ones in the freezer in a few. And I got sugar, not for me, of course. And I take sugar, and then there is pure um, Winnie's Pure Health Ugali up here. I'm hoping this is the yellow one. A very close uh, friend of mine got this um, when she came to see my son. She she came with this Ugali, and everyone in the house really really loved it it's really nice so i had to get this even as i was walking out to like go shopping me and i was like no get you little guy it's really um, really really nice yeah so um i'm going with the food stuff i think 
on this one I got uh, baby wipes we usually use the Huggies water wipes for him when he pees or messes up uh, I didn't get the economy e economy pack so I just got three of those and then I got these Huggies all over clean I usually like using these ones to like disinfect his hands when we are out there and maybe you don't have access to tap to water so um they usually remove dirt and germs but they've not been written like antibacterial but uh, you can see it's like for kids and stuff and then i got some bleach a brownie i went with the lavender one and white mask uh because the other one is the brown one is not um in stock at Kafo at the moment so i took this one the cashmere one <laughs> and then there's elicit toilet cleaner um this is here uh astonish antibacterial surface cleaner and let me just collect those ones first then i got vaseline for men more dove cotton <laughs> Cotton wool, we still use cotton wool and warm water to wipe him when he poops. Um, I don't know, it's just a personal choice. I think I'm, I'm not going to stop at that one. Uh, I got some Cotex liners. I got change of toothbrush. Um, these are not actually the ones we usually get. The ones we normally get, um, they only had soft and I wanted medium. At some po at some point i stopped using oral b toothbrushes because they kind of uh, mess up with my gums so i stopped using those ones but i've seen they've changed the design of the toothbrush it's not the one that used to be there so but then i'm thinking where would i spend 800 bucks because the set was i think 880 and then it also becomes a bit uncomfortable for me so i just went with the colgate one and then i stumbled upon this mouth um fresher breath spray fresh breath spray so it's also minty and antibacterial for your mouth um don't think it can focus so i just want to try it out i think it's something nice to have in your in your handbag yeah, and then i got some oh this is antibacterial wipes for putting in my car I got some matchbox because we were out of uh, last week. I told you guys we didn't have steamer for like two days. Yeah, so um, I got some Colgate Maxi Fresh. I'm back to using Maxi Fresh. The green one I got last time was it? Wasn't it? That that just wasn't it, obviously. And then I got some Dove Beauty Bar soaps. Um, they are fully back in the market some geisha these ones usually it's my hubby and my nanny who uses them so this one is the african strength morning oil one they didn't have the geisha black so i picked this one i picked this white one so this one is carrying coconut and honey soap this one looks like it will smell really really nice um, i picked two of those my dog is there and then i picked some i also picked some morning fresh um intimate wash i discovered mine is almost over some um where is the other one? here um astonish hand washes two of them sunlight powder soap morning fresh dishwasher uh, soap then um, I got this set of shivers <laughs> I had another things appeared in my head and then I also got a bar soap so I think that's it yeah. oh, I have some tissues here and diapers and then I keep, I, I don't know why I, I don't seem to be getting pants, um, especially size 5. Getting pants size 5, oh my gosh, it's so hard. So I had to pick what I had to, what I got, because now, yeah, and then I got this 
fresh fry and rinse them. We usually use this one to cook, this one to deep fry uh, foods like make fries or mandazis or anything you're deep frying. We usually use fresh fry because it's cheaper than rinse them. Yeah, so I think that's it for the haul. Let me now uh, panga myself and then I, I really wanted to wash the fridge. I want to wash the fridge and also want to do laundry. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking which one do should do it divide and conquer. Either I do the fridge, my nanny does the laundry. Anyway, let me see. I'll show you, I'll tell you guys. So as you can see, I decided to clean the fridge. <laughs> um, the laundry, we did it way later on in the evening. So I decided this one was more urgent than laundry. And as you can see, it was just a huge mess in here. A lot of these things had spoiled. Because like I told you guys, we didn't have electricity for like two days. So um, most of these things were actually spoiled. So I had to like um, check anything that had like mold in it um so that you know um i make sure that you just throw them away myself because uh, if i don't do this myself it won't get done unfortunately so i removed everything in the fridge cleaned it with my vinegar mix i love how easy it is to actually also clean this fridge um there are some compartments that were really dirty i'll show you guys the like there's one shelf that had a stick on it uh, i don't know from where and then there's another drawer that had like um you know food juices and meat juices <laughs> uh in it so those ones are the only ones i removed to actually wash the rest of the compartments i just washed them with my vinegar mix and a microfiber cloth so once i was done with that i sorted out the food put them back in the fridge and then now i can think of actually restocking it now i just wanted to just clear it get to know what's inside get to know what i needed to restock on of course there are the obvious things like yogurts that i needed to restock and fruits so those are the only things that i uh, restocked at the moment but today's agenda was just to you know clean it all up sort the food inside and keep what's uh, fresh and what's bad i had to throw it away unfortunately uh, that was out of our hands unfortunately but on a normal day this fridge it's very very hard for you to throw away any food it keeps an optimum temperature that just keeps your food really really fresh so um yeah so that's what i did i felt nice about doing this because <laughs> now i know um when i buy things they're just fresh things that are going inside there um yeah Feel. If you do, then they'll cut you right at the heel, and it hurts. No one can save you. It's all on your mind to change, to. And baby, you can really try if you climb your way up. Do it on your own when you shit out of luck. Nobody will help if you're flying too close to the sun. Cause you're gonna get burned. Yeah, 
so I got this um, gift of uh, yogurts, the Alba yogurts. Uh, they sent them to me to try them out. So once I do, I'll give you guys a review on them. They have way different, so many different uh, scents. It's not scents, uh, flavors. <laughs> so once I try them out, I'll, I'll let you guys know about them. So yeah, but I got that pack as a gift. So to finish off here, I'm just uh, washing the hohos and the lettuce. I'll just let them dry, then I'll come later on to put them in the fridge. I forgot to wash it. I should have washed them the first thing before washing the fridge so that they can be drying as I wash the fridge. Uh, but I guess I was just tired uh, to remember to do that. So um, I also put the flowers in the vase. I had really missed having flowers around. Um, I forgot to put flower food. Actually, I've remembered while editing this video. So I may go back and put flower food in... Um, this place. I still have some flower food in the house somewhere, yeah. So I'm glad that is done. I was honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm just tired. I'm really, really tired. So I just got an exciting delivery here from a novelty bookstore. She just delivered my match reads. And so let me just open them. So I really love the packaging of. Um, the books the way they come in these like really cute uh, packages so she got me four books I'm yet to finish um, The Havoc of Trace this is my last read for uh, the month of February I'm on page 225 actually this one I'm planning on finishing tomorrow because it's not much it's this bit I actually this book actually really shocked me I didn't expect it to be this interesting but it's really really interesting this is such a nice uh, read so um, I want to finish this tomorrow then I start on the new one so the new ones are The first one is The Spanish Love Deception yeah, by Elena Armas, Armas, this one. And then the second one is Twisted Games. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I will link her number in the description box, her page in the description box. Uh, in case you're interested in ordering and she delivers right to your doorstep right to your doorstep and the third one is love in color i've seen uh, many people online reading this um so she this one is by Bulu Babe. It, it, it sounds south african Anyway, I find out when I'm reading it, and then um, the last one is this one where the crow does sing. This is actually our book club, 
uh, read for the month of March. So uh, the, the other members in my book club, they normally read, I think, one or two books in a month. So um, this is one of the reads in uh, the March uh, list. So these are the books that I've received this month. I'm so excited as in I don't know where this hobby came from for reading but honestly I'm just excited with new books completely completely so I'm going to add this to my nightstand um, as I finish this then I will decide which one to start with and then this one is a heavy this time <laughs> it's only this one that it's uh, small but hey this one's this time. I need to pull up my game to be able to finish this one's by uh, end of the month. So, yeah. That is all I wanted to share. Um, I will link her page and number. As usual, she delivers to your doorstep. Uh, she's called Novelty Bookstore. Uh, all my books I usually get from her. All the books you see on the nightstand, I've gotten from her. So yeah, this is it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video. I've been waiting.